Connecting views like buttons or labels to outlets in your code is one of the fundamental techniques of iOS development that you'll be doing all the time. You've already done this once, such as when you connected your slider to an outlet. But that leads me to your next challenge, to get some more practice on this by trying it on your own. In the last exercise, you made Bullseye generate a random target value. And the user's goal is to move the slider as close to that random target value as they can. However, there's a problem. You currently don't display that target value anywhere in the app. It's going to be really hard for the player to be successful if they don't even know what they're aiming for. So your challenge is to pause this video and display this random target value in the app in the label you see here. To do this, you'll need to do three things. First, you'll need to create an outlet for the label. Second, you'll need to connect the outlet in the storyboard editor. And third, you'll need to set the text of the outlet. This process will be very similar to how you connected the slider. So if you need a refresher, refer back to connecting outlets video. All right, that's it. Now pause the video and good luck. The first step is to create a new outlet for the label so that we can send it messages. So at the top of view controller where I store all my variables, I'll type in new IB outlet. Remember we need that so the storyboard can detect this variable. Type in week, bear, and then the name of it is target label. And it'll be of type UI label and put an exclamation mark at the end. Next, we need to connect the label and the storyboard to this value. So again, we go to main.storyboard, select the label, open the connections inspector, and find new referencing outlet, and drag that to the view controller. And we'll pick target label here. Back in viewcontroller.swift, I'm going to add a new function to update the labels. Right now, it's just going to update one label. The reason I'm adding this is just to keep my code organized so later on when I'm updating a bunch of labels, everything's all in one place. So I'm going to say target label dot text equals a string version of the target value. Now my last step is I need to call this function. And a good place to do that is at the start of the new round, I'll just call update labels. Now I'll build and run. And it says, put the bullseye as close as you can to 75. So I'll do that. And notice that it started a new round. The new value here is 51 that I'm trying to hit. And every time I tap the button, it generates a new random value. 